Hello and welcome to week 8 NFL predictions. I think we have a lot of good games this week, so let's get right into it. Starting with the 7-0 Arizona Cardinals facing off against the 6-1 Green Bay Packers. Packers are on a 6-game win streak ever since losing in the first week to the Saints. And I think they've slowly gotten better week after week. But the Cardinals have looked so dominant on both sides of the ball this, this year, uh, especially on offense, averaging 32 points a game. They also have one of the top defenses in the league, only allowing 16 points a game and only giving up 5 to the Texans and 14 to the Browns two previous weeks. I think it's going to be a good game, but I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the Cardinals 28-21 to over the Packers. And now we have the 3-4 and four Carolina Panthers going up against the 3-3 three and three Atlanta Falcons. Panthers coming off of a big loss from the Giants, 25-3, to three, and that's a four-game losing streak for them. Falcons coming off of a close win over the Dolphins, 30-28. to 28. I think the Falcons have definitely gotten better after each week, and I think the Panthers started off really hot. Uh, they probably didn't play the best of teams, though. Uh, I do think they bounce back, and I think they're going to win this one, 24-21, just barely over the Falcons. Now we have the 1-6 Dolphins going up against the 4-2 Bills. Dolphins coming off of a close loss, like I said earlier, to the Falcons, 30-28. to 28. Bills also coming off of a loss, uh, a close loss from the Titans, 34-31. to 31. And I think the thing that worries me the most about the Bills is their rush defense, especially against the Titans and Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was able to run all over their defense that game. I do think the Bills are going to win this pretty big, big though, 30-17 to 17 over the Dolphins. Now we have the 2-4 49ers going up against the 3-4 Chicago Bears. 49ers coming off of a uh, big loss from the Colts, 30-18. to 18. Bears also coming off of a huge loss from the Buccaneers, 38-3. to 3. The Bears' offense has definitely struggled a lot this season with Justin Fields at the QB. I think he's doing what, he's, what he can. I just don't think there's a lot of pieces on that offense for him to, for him to really do much. 49ers haven't looked great this season. They are in a pretty tough division, and they do have Jimmy Garoppolo back. I think this is going to be an interesting game, but I'm going to go 49ers 24-21 to over the Bears. I think this is going to be a really interesting matchup between the Steelers and the Browns. Steelers coming off of an overtime win over the Seahawks 23-20. to Browns also coming off of a close win over the Broncos 17-14. to And obviously the Browns do have a lot of injuries with Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, A.J. Green, all of them out. Uh, I think we did get to see what they, what they are without them against the Broncos. They still were able to get a win. I think they get a win here over the Steelers 27-20. And now we have the 2-5 Eagles going up against the 0-7 Lions. Eagles coming off of a loss from the Raiders, 33-22. And the Lions obviously coming off of a loss from the Rams, 28-19. I think the Lions have actually played decent. Uh, they just lost a lot of close games, couldn't pull out a lot of close games. And I don't think they pull out this one either. I'm going to say Eagles win 29-24 in a fairly close game. Now we have the Tennessee Titans going up against the Indianapolis Colts. Titans coming off of a huge win over the Chiefs, 27-3. Colts also coming off of a big win over the 49ers, 30-18. I think the Titans are on a roll right now, and I think they continue to roll, especially with Derrick Henry playing the way he is. I just don't know how you stop them as, as the Colts' defense. I'm going to say Titans win 26-24 in a close game. Now we have the 5-2 Bengals going up against the 1-5 Jets. Bengals coming off of a massive win over the Ravens, 41-17. Jets coming off of a huge loss from the Patriots, 54-13. to Jets obviously haven't been playing well. Their, their offense is only uh, averaging 13 points a game. Their defense isn't helping them at all, allowing almost 30 points a game and almost 420 yards a game, too. And the Bengals have been playing lights out, especially Joe Burrow the past few weeks. I think they continue to roll. I think they win big 31-23 to over the Jets. Now we have the 6-1 Los Angeles Rams facing off against the 1-6 Houston Texans. Rams coming off of a win over the Lions, 28-19. And the Texans obviously coming off of a loss from the Cardinals, 31-5. Their defense really hasn't been able to do a, a whole lot this season, especially the past few weeks. I think the, Raven, uh, the Rams I'm sorry, win big this week, 30-14 over the Texans. Now we have the 3-4 New England Patriots going up against the 4-2 Chargers. Patriots coming off of a huge win over the Jets, 54-13. The Chargers coming off of a loss from the Ravens, 34-6. I was almost tempted to go with the Patriots on this one. I think their defense has really stepped up the past few weeks, and Mac Jones, too, has stepped up a lot. Uh, I am going to go with the Chargers in a close 28-24 win over the Patriots. Now we have the 1-5 Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the 2-4 Seattle Seahawks. Jaguars coming off of their first win on the season uh, to the Dolphins, 23-20, and also coming off of a bye week. And the Seahawks coming off of a close loss from the Saints, 13-10. That is a three-game losing streak for them. And obviously the Jacksonville Jaguars haven't been playing really great this season. 
And I think it's going to be a tough for the Seahawks, especially without Russell Wilson. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I'm going to say Seahawks win 17-14. to Now we have 2-5 and five Washington going up against the 3-4 and four Broncos. Washington coming off of a loss from the Packers, 24-10. to Broncos also coming off of a loss from the Browns, 17-14. to That's a four-game losing streak ever since going 3-0. and I think their, their offense has definitely faced a lot of, has struggled a lot the past four games. I do like their defense, though. I think it's going to be a close 25-20 win for the Broncos. Now we have the 6-1 Buccaneers going up against the 4-2 Saints. Bucks coming off of a big win over the Bears, 38-3. Saints also coming off a win over the Seahawks, 13-10. I think the Buccaneers have had one of the best offenses in the league this season. Their defense has been pretty solid, too. I think the Saints really have been on and off a whole lot this season, especially on defense. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers on this one, 28-22. Now we have the 5-1 Cowboys going up against the 3-3 three three Vikings. Cowboys coming off of a bye week and so are the Vikings. I think the Cowboys offense has really been unstoppable this season, averaging almost 35 points a game and 470 yards a game too. The Vikings defense has been pretty solid. I just don't think they're going to be able to stop the Cowboys offense and all the weapons they have on there. I think the Cowboys win by 10, 34-24 over the Vikings. Now we have the 2-5 Giants going up against the 3-4 Chiefs. Giants coming off of a surprising win over the Panthers, 25-3. The Chiefs coming off of a huge loss from the Titans, 27-3. Uh, I think the Chiefs definitely have struggled a lot this season, especially Patrick Mahomes uh, with nine interceptions. He does have 1,800 or 18 touchdowns and two, over 2,000 passing yards this season. I think this is a week the Chiefs can get back on track. I think they win close, 25-20 over the Giants. Thank you for watching and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.